Hey everybody, uh, took down the video of the uh, Dragon uh, expansion opening, I need to redo it, um, I record it, uh, 10A, 1060, um, but it, for some reason, went like 280, anyway, um, so, I just got this in the mail today, actually, it was the last um, booster box of the Wizards, as you can see here from an online retailer, still sealed, look at that, step into J.R. Tolkien's wondrous world, yeah. so this is a box of the limited edition, and it's seen better days, but uh, this just came in the mail today, I uh, don't plan on opening it, even though it's you know, ripped right there, um, they don't make these anymore, I'd rather open an unlimited uh, I'd rather keep the limited sealed, uh, sealed product. Ice doesn't do this game, this game's dead. Um, however, some of the sets, like the Balrog, Against the Shadow, and Lidless Eye, are worth a pretty penny. And uh, we will be discussing the art, and I do have some limited starter decks, French starter decks, uh, came in, and we'll be opening those later. Okay, let's set that off to the side. Uh, but I did get this awesome playmat from um, the original magic art.com OMA. Uh, they did not pay me to say anything about that. However, it's one of my favorite cards. Probably my favorite card of the game from the Fallen Empires expansion set. Uh, this is him to Turok. And this is uh, Liz Danforth's uh, version of it. I prefer the Susan uh, Van Camp, is my favorite art on any card uh, for the him to Turok. Uh, this would be a second. Um, place for that. So I'm pleased that they did a limited edition Ultra Pro playmat. And uh, let's see, if we'll, we'll move this camera a little bit. Signed also. So let's set you back up. There we go. Um, so let's go over. We're going to do some uh, Middle Earth here. Um, stuff I like. Uh, these are the Wizards. And here's that iconic uh, Gandalf um, by Olive, Olivier Fraught. Uh, he's French. Um, does not have a website, unfortunately, because I, I went and looked for it. Uh, here's Angus McBride's Polando. Um, I do I do like the fallen Polando better, which we'll get to. And here is Angelo Monsini's uh, Radagast, I think I butchered his name. These are all from the base set. So, slide those off. And then finally from the base, uh, the Wizards. And this is Saruman. Angus McBride again. Um, so again, Angus McBride heavy, heavy in the Wizards. Um, then we have Omar Rayan for Altair. And then I like this uh, Steve Otis Gandalf, the Fallen Wizard. I do like that one. So I do enjoy that. And then Liz Danforth's Polando, I think, is one of the uh, better. It's not my favorite um, picture of the Wizards, uh, but it's up there. It's in the top three for me. Uh, so far, out of the cards, I think Gandalf, Gandalf and Polando are the, the top ones out there. Um, but the actual number one, I believe, is Quentin Hoover's Radagast. Um, that's just amazing, amazing art. I mean, you don't get this in, in Magic sets anymore. And then finally, there's a John Howe um, Saruman. little rainbow effect on the back there. It's pretty cool. Um, so to me, the art in this game uh, from the base set to the final major expansion. Balrog, of course, being the super expensive. Let's move these out of the way here and get right into um, a mail opening and then we'll do a pack opening. I like putting them in alphabetical order. So, get those off to the side. So, this got these cards in the mail from an online seller that still sells cards for the set and singles. So we'll just take a look and see what I got. And I got a whole
whole bunch of stuff. I need to put these in my set, so. Chance meeting, a Friender 3, Quentin Hoover. I just recognized that without even looking at the artist. Um, and Duran River, and that's Mark Poole. Uh, one of my favorite arts, Ash Mountains, and that's Kevin Ward. Uh, Athelis is Angelo again. He's all over this stuff. Uh, Bill the Pony, uh, Blue Mountain Dwarves, Angelo. And then a book of miserable. So there's that. Let's see what else we got here. We got bridge. Duran's axe. That dwarven ring. Elfstone Mark Poole, one of my favorite artists. Got Int Drops. Fog. Angelo again. We got Goldberry. Angus McBride's Goldberry. Uh, so you can see that through the thin mesh there. Halfling strength. They don't make those cards anymore like that. We got uh, Army of the Dead. That was one of the rares I needed. That's pretty cool right there. Clear Skies. That's a good looking card. Dwarven Ring of Baron's Tribe. Dwarven Ring of Davor's Tribe. That's Dan Frazier, another magic artist. Dwarven Ring of Durin's Tribe. Dwarven Ring of Dwalin's Tribe. We got Eagle Mounts there. We got Easterlings. Fair Sailing, Mark Poole. Kevin Ward did that. Fair Travels in Dark Domains. That's pretty cool looking art. These are in sleeves. I gotta take them out and put them in my uh, binder. Mark Poole did Fair Travels in Free Domains. So, yeah, look at that Golem's Fate. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't read Lord of the Rings. There's our eagle friend. Thorn 2. Another Angelo. He's all over this. Uh, our girl. That's uh, Joe Hartwig. I think one of the uh, producers of the game. There's another Quentin Hoover. Halfling Strength. Horn of Anwar. Laps of Will. Leaf Lock, Lordly Presence, April Lees, Loss Soth, Mablung, and then Ring Magic Ring of Nature again, Quentin Hoover. So, and the final group of cards that I got right here: Magic Ring of Stealth, Mary. There's another Angelo, Nori. Angelo's art, Ori, Angelo again, Orf, Pippin, Angelo, and S Sam McGee is another Angelo. So you got Angus McBride, and then you have, um, excuse me, Angelo Montanini. Those are like two of the big artists all over this set, the wizards. So let's open some starter decks. These are French uh, limited edition uh, starter decks. But first, I'm going to open. This is a. Um, here, let's put them out. I opened the, just the outer seal on that one. Um, and I'm going to show you how to open these. So the fixed cards do not have a pull tab. But the best way is just at the bottom. You don't need to use your teeth. But at the bottom, it just comes right out. These. These cards have been locked away and sealed up for over 22 years at this point, so it, it just the glue should just fall right apart. You don't need to do anything crazy. And just get right into it. So, wonder what we're gonna get in this fix set. So we got Gates of Morning. That's an all starter decks and. Signal Tower, Ruined Signal Tower, Mark Poole, Bergrond, Borean, Bart Bowman, Angela Martini, we got Enthrone, Weathertop, Moria, Isengard, 
Saruman, Angus McBride, and Altar. Angus McBride is Rivendale. Iron Hill Dwarfhold. Goblin Gate. Um, you can play gold rings there. So definitely for your ring dunk decks. Boren's House. Iron Hill Dwarves. That four. Another Rivendale. Lorien. Grey Havens. Edel Horn. It's pretty. I don't think I've seen that one before. Doors of Night. It's in every deck. Gimli. Borings. And Annalena. So that was this fixed set right there. So we'll set this off to the side. And we'll get right into the French. Starter decks. Limited edition. So I got these. I got one for free uh, from this vendor. Uh, it was um, Potomac Dist. And I bought three more. And it, yep, see, pull tab just comes right off. So you got your uncommons. Commons are in the back. So yeah, these are in French French. There's no um, English in these, so we're just going off the pictures. You have your Portes du Matin, so your Door of Morning, or you know, Gate of Morning. But we'll do that after we, let's go to the rares. There's Rubuck. And let's see if we can recognize anything. Just look at the art. Yeah, recognize that one. Legolas. <laughs> Dear, in the final, there we go. So that's a rare. No, those are not rares. Rare, I think that ring is the rare. I have to let Orcus is uncommon. Uh, it's four marshaling points. It's unique. And it gives three to uh, prowess. Max of nine. Four if you're against orcs. Uh, so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Okay. Maybe they're in the back. You know, giant spiders. That's that's just the um, one of the rings you can test. I forget which one. A beautiful uh, gold ring. There's the male. Let's look at this art. Let's see if we jump out of something. It's a precious gold ring. Again, you do a ring test. Is what it's telling you to do. Um, let's see. There's those crows. <laughs> Stealth. There's a Susan Van Camp. Wonderful art right there. Wolves. Little medicine. River. Quentin Hoover. Just just amazing art in this reforge. Candle of uh, the dead. It's a beautiful gold ring. Another Quentin Hoover. Sword of Gondolin. Or Epe du Gondolin River. Not a lot of repeats in here. Yeah. So I'm not sure where the rare was in that. Let's set that aside, but let's keep opening. And the pull tab on this, these are like, it's right there. And where it's sealed, this comes right off. You don't need to use your teeth. You don't need to use a knife. Look at that. This comes right off. So. Fellowship, and that's the full art. 
so you can see the whole company there. That's a lore. Sword gondolin, there's the dagger. That's safe passage in I think the Fairlands or something. But that's Rob Alexander art, I mean one of the premier magic artists from back in the day. It's just amazing. See what we get in our second deck. Ah, so the top three. These are our rares, okay. Those are rares, the top three. Because Golem's Fate is rare. So that's that's where the and then these are uncommons. There's William. Or wait. One, two, and then no, on Legolas is an uncommon. I know that, so it's these top three definitely. That's Mount Doom, I believe. Palantir minus Tereth. Okay. okay, so I'll have to check those. But I think we found out where the rares were. Slightly different location in the French decks than in the than the English decks. Horses sweeping away the Nazgul. Go. That's yeah, one of my favorite art pieces in this uh, in this set right here. Let me move that away. That's just that's just beautiful. Look at that. I mean, you're playing with works of art here. That's why I love this game, and then it's open-ended. I mean, it's not, you attack your opponent, you take three, or three hundred, or three million, or whatever. It's, it's a, just an open-ended game. Final one, let's see what we get. Smog and the Precious. Now that's the French version of the Precious, and that's Faramir talking to Frodo, I believe. Give me the ring. Gladriel. Yeah. Glamdrain. This is a Gandalf sword. So it's unique. Adds two to prowess, maximum of eight, nine if you're against torques. So cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little short video. And uh, we're going to be doing some more um, Middle Earth 
when I get it in. Um, I like opening it. I think it's a beautiful game. I'm going to be collecting it. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.